the client that I am working with on this is it's a learning cluster to help with emotional skills at work for their leaders. The strategic performance objective that we put together was by improving emotional skills for new high potential leaders and tenured senior leaders, the business will benefit from employee engagement that exceeds the current U.S. average as reported by Gallup and a company-wide decrease in turnover impacts, which will be measured by a positive effect on performance implementation plans. The on-the-job behavior that we expect to see is leaders modeling empathy in their day-to-day -day interactions with staff, customers, and organizational stakeholders. We also expect to see building capacity for handling difficult situations and emotions, while also developing perpetuating courage, confidence, and adaptability. The two personas that we're targeting are Reactive Rob and Self-Doubt Sally. Reactive Rob is He's an experienced leader with over five years experience. His biggest challenge is reacting instead of responding to difficult situations. Self-doubt Sally, she's a new leader. She has less than five years of experience. Her biggest challenge is her self-doubt that is holding her back. The learning cluster to help create these behavioral changes consists of, in a social aspect, on the job practice. So creating that in the flow of work learning experience, they would get this through coaching and with their homework assignments or experiment assignments, if you will. Next would be their immediate forms of learning assets. That is links to books, podcasts, videos, job aids. You'll notice the asterisk next to each one of these. And those resources, they will be based on recommendations. The recommendations will differ based on the individual learner. For example, just this morning, I was listening to a podcast and I'm like, oh, I think that would be appropriate for two of my clients. Not all of them, but two came to mind and I sent it to them. As to the formal aspect, I put coaching in there because it is a regular touch point with, with the learner, with the leader, coaching every two weeks to process and reflect on what they have learned and what is yet to be learned. I also provide them with a call prep form that helps us prepare for the call in advance where they respond to such questions as what were your greatest successes? What were your challenges? How do you want to use our coaching time today? The call prep form serves multiple purposes, preparing for the call, as well as their own personal reflection and a record of their growth. As far as our tracking transformations, one of the things that I will be adding to the call prep form is what I'm calling a confidence continuum. So that each time they fill out that prep form, they can note where they are, on the continu continuum of how confident they're feeling. With that, in terms of tracking not only the confidence measure, we would also improve, that falls into improvement in the leader's confidence scores. And also we have the employee engagement results that to exceed current US average is reported by Gallup. And positive outcomes on performance implementation plans, which I am hypothesizing that the performance plans are like a review and reports of problems, that review status will be better and there will be fewer problems reported as a result.